Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a closer look at dependent versus independent variables. There's always a relationship between data sets representing variables or dependent or independent variables and how to know which is which. Well, there's usually an easy way to tell. Sometimes it's hard to tell. We can go either way. But here, let's, for example, use where we go to the casinos, we spend a certain amount of time gambling, and typically that's related to a certain amount of money being lost. And the longer you gamble, the more money you will lose. And there's typically a linear correlation, a linear relationship between the amount of time gambled and the amount of money lost. There are exceptions. Some people come out with more money than went in, but that's not the norm. Most people come out with less money than they went into the casino with. So, money is lost as a result of the amount of time gambling. So, the amount of time gambling kind of controls the amount of money that's being lost. So, if we want to look at independent versus dependent variables, which, by the way, are also called input variables and output variables, you can see that the gambling time, the amount of time gambled, can be considered the independent variable. We can change how much time we gamble from a little to a lot. And as a result, the amount of money lost is therefore the dependent variable. It will be a direct result of the amount of time that we gambled. So you can think of the input variable as being the gambling time, and out of that comes as a result the amount of money being lost being the output variable. Another way of looking at it is you can say that one of the variables is the cause and the other is the effect. The amount of gambling is the cause, the effect is the amount of money lost. And that's how di we differentiate between dependent variables and independent variables. Now typically when we graph them, and that's important, on the horizontal axis we typically put the independent variables and on the vertical axis we typically put the dependent variables. That's not always the case, but it's typically the norm. And there's exceptions for whatever reason, but that's how we usually look at the graph and look at the data. We put the independent variable on the horizontal axis, the dependent variable on the vertical axis. In algebra, we put x on the, ver on the horizontal and y on the vertical axis for the same reason, and that is how it's done.